Ever wondered how well you could protect yourself if a threatening situation arose? Self-defense isn't just for the fitness buffs among us. It's a vital skill for everyone. It's not about becoming a superhero or a martial arts master, but about equipping yourself with the knowledge and techniques to safeguard your well-being. It's about feeling secure and empowered in your daily life. If you've never considered this, now is the perfect time to start. Imagine an attacker coming at you. Your first instinct might be to throw a punch, but there's a more effective technique. It's called the palm strike. This move uses the heel of your palm as a striking tool, focusing its power on the attacker's nose or chin. Here's how it works. First, raise your hand as though you're about to high-five someone and then, with a swift motion, strike forward, aiming the heel of your palm at the target. During the strike, keep your fingers pointed upwards to avoid injuring yourself. The palm strike is all about targeting vulnerable areas on the attacker's face. The nose and chin are ideal because they're sensitive, and a well-placed strike can stun, giving you a chance to escape. Remember to aim for vulnerable areas. It's not about brute force, but precision. The palm strike is an easy, effective self-defense move that anyone can master with a bit of practice. What if someone grabs your wrist, pulls your hair, or bear hugs you from behind? It's a terrifying thought, but don't panic. You have the power to break free, and it all comes down to understanding leverage and sudden movement. When it comes to wrist grabs, twist your wrist in a swift motion towards the thumb of your attacker. This sudden movement exploits a weak point and allows you to break free. If your hair gets pulled, quickly wrap your hand around the attacker's hand. This action decreases the pain and gives you control. For those unexpected bear hugs from behind, drop your weight and step on the attacker's feet or use your elbow to strike their stomach. Remember, the idea is not to engage in a fight, but to create an opportunity to escape. These techniques are about exploiting your attacker's weak points and using their momentum against them. With these techniques, you can break free and create an opportunity to escape. Sometimes getting free isn't enough. You might need to knock an attacker off balance. With a simple leg sweep, you can do just that. Start by planting your feet firmly on the ground. Your balance is key here. Next, pivot your body to generate momentum, swinging your leg in a sweeping motion towards your attacker's legs. It's not brute force, but the effective use of your body weight that can trip them up. Remember, a well-executed leg sweep can buy you precious seconds to escape. Self-defense isn't just about physical techniques. Your mindset and awareness are equally important. Confidence is your first line of defense. When you believe in your ability to protect yourself, you not only deter potential attackers, but also react more effectively when faced with danger. Assertiveness, too, is key. It's about standing your ground and making it clear that you won't be an easy target. Being alert and aware of your surroundings can prevent many dangerous situations. Trust your instincts. If something feels off, it probably is. Avoid risky situations whenever you can. Consider attending self-defense workshops or martial arts classes. Learning from experts and practicing with others can greatly enhance your skills and confidence. Additionally, equip yourself with safety tools like pepper spray and personal alarms. They can serve as an extra layer of protection, providing you valuable time to escape or attract help. Equip yourself with knowledge and tools and remember self-defense is about preparation, not aggression. Now that you've learned these self-defense basics, it's time to put this knowledge to use. Remember, knowledge without action is like a book unopened. So, practice these techniques regularly. Make them second nature, so if the time comes, you're ready and capable of defending yourself. Consider attending local workshops or martial arts classes where you can hone these skills under the guidance of experts. It's not just about the techniques. It's also about building your confidence and awareness. These classes can give you a safe environment to practice and learn. And let's not keep this vital information to ourselves. Share this video with your friends, your family, your loved ones. Let's spread the word about self-defense. It's not about promoting fear. It's about promoting preparedness and empowerment. Remember, your safety is non-negotiable. Stay safe, stay strong, and empower others by sharing this video. After all, empowerment through self-defense begins with you. Before we wrap up this video, let's remember why we're all here. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up. 
Your likes not only motivate us, but also help this video reach more people who might need this information. If you feel empowered, if you feel safer, let us know by hitting that like button. And don't stop here. There's so much more to learn. We have more self-defense tips and techniques to share with you. So if you haven't already, subscribe to our channel. Join us on this journey towards empowerment and safety. We're all in this together and every new subscriber strengthens this community. Lastly, to ensure you don't miss out on any of our new videos, hit the bell icon. By doing so, you'll get notified each time we upload a new video. We're constantly working to bring you more content, more techniques, more empowerment. So stay tuned, stay safe, and stay empowered. Your journey towards self-defense doesn't end here. It only just begins. Let's continue this journey together.